Hello, welcome to this again. Remember the video where I tried to install Windows Whistler on real hardware? Yeah, that video did pretty well. So the most logical evolution of that is installing Windows Longhorn on real hardware. If you didn't know, Windows Longhorn were the beta builds of Windows Vista before they just gave up on it and started all over again. So we're gonna see what builds we can install and see what they're all about. Up first on this CD, we have build 4040. Now I have tried this before, uh, and it didn't work very well. None of them, none of them worked. None of, none of them worked. Uh, so hopefully we have better luck this time. Yes, please boot from the CD. This thing is still running kids win. Alright, we're booting into Windows PE. Windows Longhorn. It's just the Windows XP logo, but gray. Didn't even change the loading bar. And that was fast. Cool. Um, so, uh, it seems this build is a bust. <laughs> All right, this is build 4074. Now, this actually isn't one of the builds that I tried in my first attempt at this, so maybe it'll work. Who knows? Ah, it seems we've, uh, gone back to uh, the Windows XP installer as opposed from the uh, pre-installation environment that we were at earlier. And it says Windows XP professional setup as well. Okay, yeah, cool. Is this an earlier version than what I was using earlier? I mean, judging by the number, it shouldn't be. Ah! Hey, it's finished. Wahoo! Alright, same build, just on a CD this time. So hopefully it's able to find the goddamn license agreement. Also, I keep pulling out the disk drive too hard, and it just disconnects entirely. Ah! Man, we are just not having good luck today, are we? Alright, I now have a DVD. This is build... 4093. This is the last build of Windows Longhorn before they just gave up. We're back to the pre-installation environment phase. Oh, hey. We got dark screen. Oh, we've lost a few colors. Uh, so that didn't work either. So we have uh, 4083 right here. Now if this one doesn't work, then I'm gonna start questioning uh, the source that I'm getting these. Cause somehow this was 300 megabytes. That's less than what Windows XP was. There we go. Now, in in the later version, it didn't have the, it didn't have mouse support somehow. So I had to use keyboard inputs the entire time. Then I tried uh, through. Then I tried opening the setup through Windows XP, and it still didn't work. So the mouse worked, but still didn't work. All right, is mouse working? No, there is no mouse. Cool. All right, let's see how far we get this time. Oops. Oh, jeez. Whoa, I don't know if I caught that in the time lapse or not, but it just, the Windows logo just like slid down. <laughs> Hold on, let me get a, let me get a microphone up in here real quick, one second. All right, uh, <laughs> yeah, I am please waiting. Oh, ooh. We got a tree, oh, tree died. Oh, tree's back. Hey! Stuff's working! Finally! So, this is Windows Longhorn. I don't know, I, it, a lot of this stuff is probably, yeah, a lot of this stuff is probably very broken, but... Slate? <laughs> Why is Windows XP still a theme here? 
<laughs> Why? Jade. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. Oh god. Hold on, does does these do these themes change that? Yeah, it does. It's still just the Windows XP start menu, but low disk space. Oh yeah. It's now dual booting Windows XP and this. Well to be more exact, it's 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 dual booting kids win. Alright, we have a bit higher of a resolution now, so. We got Longhorn Screensaver. Yup. What a great way of changing the default wallpaper. Just naming it Bliss. I'm assuming most of these are just... Yeah. Oh. Huh. Bullet. Oh god, I hate that. Now, there's no way I'm getting... Oh. That's why it's so small. It's it ha it's missing literally everything. IDW login logging tool. Cool. It didn't do anything. Games. Oh. So yeah. Uh. That's pretty much the video. Uh. Hope you enjoyed my struggling to get this to work. So yeah. That's Windows Longhorn. And one more thing. I have channel memberships, and one of the things I promised in said channel memberships was your name being shouted out at the end of each video. So, special thanks to this chord and I am Maurice for their support to the channel. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And with that, I'll be seeing you.